Welcome to the AGSM's Art Connects video series for a Prairie Vernacular, a new art exhibition on at the AGSM from January 14th to March 13th, 2021. A Prairie Vernacular presents a stunning array of over 100 historic and contemporary artworks borrowed from public and private collections throughout Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. A Prairie Vernacular was curated by Jennifer McRory and Joanne Marion, with writings contributed by Indigenous art historian and curator Dr. Carmen Robertson in her essay, An Indigenous Prairie Aesthetic. The artworks reveal a shared interest in prairie culture and environment, and as viewers we gain insight into the artist's prairie experience, deepening our own understanding of prairie identity. In this video, we will introduce you to the exhibition and share the curator's vision with you. We will begin to explore the roots of folk and funk in Saskatchewan and the connections between prairie artists that form the foundation of this exhibition. The exhibition considers the relationship of folk art to contemporary art produced in the prairie provinces. The genre of vernacular art is largely defined as being made by individuals untrained in the visual arts who may not even identify themselves as artists. Artists represented in the exhibition include historic and contemporary untrained or self-taught artists, as well as academically trained artists whose work speak to the vernacular, the locality, and the history of the prairies. At times, the artists adopt the materials, methods, and or motivations of a folk aesthetic and speak to shared contexts and subject matter, reflecting on memories and histories of life on the prairies. The curators saw several major themes emerging throughout the huge volume of work. Themes include humor and playfulness, fantasy and the surreal, politics and religion, the everyday, memory and memoria, and the prairie gothic. Both historical and contemporary prairie vernacular works share these themes, creating a dialogue that extends through time and across all three prairie provinces. The term folk art is challenging to define and problematic at times, serving to other the artists being referred to positioning them outside of the mainstream art world. Cognizant of this, the curators decided to focus on the artists and their art, instead of labeling them into categories. The presentation of the exhibition is designed through several main themes, as well as real and perceived relationships, exhibiting historic and contemporary works side by side. The curators chose to refer to the work of untrained artists as vernacular art. They feel the term vernacular is more inclusive than other terms. The layout allows the works to dialogue, or speak to one another, weaving overarching, complex narratives of prairie sensibilities and experience. It encourages audiences to draw connections between the work of these historic and contemporary artists, to consider the prevalence of vernacular art on the prairies, and the impact it has had on our art, collective culture, and identity as prairie people. Looking at the roots of folk and funk in Saskatchewan helps us to understand how the exhibition developed and the rich relationships between trained and untrained artists. There is a long and robust history with vernacular art in Saskatchewan where this genre of art is extremely prevalent. It has had support from curators, contemporary artists, art dealers, collectors, and the general public. According to Nancy Toosley, Saskatchewan's arts community has the most complex interactions between trained and untrained artists who accepted the former as colleagues. It is this connection between trained and untrained artists in Saskatchewan and their artistic exchange that became a compelling point of curatorial inquiry for the exhibition, A Prairie Vernacular. In the 1970s, a younger generation of artists emerged in Saskatchewan who wanted to make work that was situated in the prairies which spoke to the places and the experiences that they knew. Saskatchewan artists Victor Sikansky, David Thauberger, and Joe Fafard were inspired by the West Coast funk aesthetic of California ceramics, which engaged in humor and surrealism to focus on everyday subjects, popular culture, and personal narrative. This became a catalyst for a new prairie movement. During their time in California, the artists found support for their interest in vernacular art sources. They were given the confidence to see their own culture and historical circumstances, the prairie experience, as equal to any other for cultural investigation. The Regina artists recognized that their artwork and motivations had a natural affinity with that of vernacular artists. Both shared a belief in the values of prairie experience and history. 
Vernacular artists provided the Regina artists with another model or context to respond to their own regional experience within mainstream contemporary art. Thalberger was first introduced to the work of Molly Lenhart and Laura Harness while adjudicating artwork in rural Saskatchewan at Watrous. Thalberger, Sikansky, and Fafard began to form relationships with many of Saskatchewan's now recognized folk artists, supporting their practices by collecting their works, curating work into exhibitions, as well as collaborating with them. Joe Fafard created sculptures of Harvey McInnes, William McCarger, and Jan Wires, artists with whom he was connected with and admired. The appreciation of this artistic exchange and support is evident in the portraits by Molly Lenhart of Thauberger, Sikansky, and the Fafard family. Many of Thauberger's compositional strategies, such as presenting flattened, frontal perspectives that are pushed into the foreground, give nods to Molly Lenhart's frontal views of subjects and shallow pictorial space, as well as William McCarger's flattened and simplified paintings of architectural structures. An exciting new ceramic movement was born in Regina, driven by experimentation, play, humor, and personal narrative. Learn more about the other themes in the exhibition in the rest of the AGSM Art Connects video series, which brings you up close and personal to works of art as you meet artists from the prairies.